guys. Um, so I know it has been months since I've done a video, um, but I was really excited about doing this one, so I definitely made the time to do this. I've been so busy the last couple of months uh, between um, kind of job transitioning and my son um, being out for school for the summer. Um, I haven't really had time, but I was really excited about this one just because I just recently went to the beach and um, at our condo, I cleaned everything right before I left in the washer and dryer, and I packed um, my beach bag, my massive beach bag full of stuff. Um, that I do take when I go to the beach or to the pool. So I thought this was a great opportunity. I know that summer was just a few days ago, and, you know, the pools are open, the beach is all ready to go. So I uh, definitely wanted to kind of give you guys an idea of what essentials that I take with me when I go to the pool or to the beach and kind of what are good products to take to kind of protect you. So um, to get started, again, this is my big old beach bag. And um, this is from Victoria's Secret Pink. I got this probably about seven to eight years ago, I almost think it's been eight years, um, but it was kind of like gift with purchase, when you spend a certain amount of money, the bag was like ten bucks, and it came with um, some products that you could use, but I didn't think that I would ever keep this bag for so long, and I really have, it's been such a great bag, it's so big and full, I use it for all kinds of things, but now it's kind of transitioned to my uh, go-to beach bag, I've used it for years, it's just that bag, um, but really, really worth it, if you ever see a bag like this again from Victoria's Secret, please purchase it, it is done, so, um, so much for me, as in, you know, staying the night anywhere or anything like that. It's kind of my go-to bag. So, again, this is the bag, and it's nice and pink, and has a little puppy dog on it, um, which I love. Um, but the first thing that I keep in here, of course, is my hat. So I always keep this little straw fedora with me. Um, I love this hat. I like big floppy hats, too, but I always tend to come back to this hat, and I really love the little bow detail. Um, I really love this hat. I got this last season, but um, H&M tends to carry straw hats all the time. Um, and I also went a size up in the hat. I typically wear a small hat. This is a medium, and the reason why I did that was so I didn't get any hat creases when I took my hat off if my hair was curly or hair was wet or anything like that. But love this hat, super, super cute. Um, again, I love that little bow detail, and this was just a bargain. It was like seven bucks, and I've had it, you know, for over a year now. So really, really love that hat. Um, the other hat that I keep with me, of course, is my son's hat. He is four years old, so he definitely needs a hat, and he gets exhausted from being in the sun. So this kind of helps protect him so the sun isn't beating down on his face. So this is this little Sean White alien hat that he uh, got from Target. Um, these are a deal anyway, but I got this on clearance for like three or four bucks. I think they're normally like eight dollars anyway. Um, and I love this hat because it is a little flat build, so he looks super cute. He looks like a little cool dude. But um, it's ventilated all the way through, so um, his head still breathes because he does have, you know, wild and crazy hair so um, it kind of helps his head breathe still and it protects his little face and I um, really really love that as he calls it it's his little alien hat so I always carry that with me and it's super lightweight so um, love that um, next thing I carry are my sunglasses um, so these are my Michael Kors sunglasses um, and these are in model number I did look up the name but I cannot remember it to save my life so the model number is M2049S uh, it's, I think it has the model name on it but um, you can definitely look them up. I have looked them up, and, you know, they're pretty available. They're unisex sunglasses, and they do come in a bunch of different colors, but I got these for Mother's Day, and I love these, and I was so excited about getting these because um, I've always wanted a really nice pair of sunglasses, and I'm so bad at taking care of my sunglasses that um, this was really a treat for me to get um, a good one, so I did go to Target and spend a little um, on a case, but I do keep them in this case at all times if I'm not wearing them because uh, I'm scared of breaking them, and it's been a really great bag. It kind of just can throw it in my bag, and I'm not real worried about anything happening to them, especially with all the stuff that I carry in there, so, um, usually I do have my son's, uh, sunglasses as well, but, uh, he was just wearing them the other day, so I took them out of my bag, but they're cute little, um, fake wayfarers. Um, the other thing I carry in here, oh, it was actually towards the bottom of the bag, but I'll sh I guess I'll have to show you that last, but I do carry towels, of course, this is my towel, um, I got this, uh, this is, I think, Better Homes and Gardens by Walmart, or, you know, from Walmart. Um, this is one of those extra, extra large um, towels that I really, really love, um, and it's super soft, and it was a great deal. It was only $12.99. Usually those uh, type of towels are really, really expensive, but this wasn't at all, and I thought it was a great deal, and I love the pattern. Um, I don't know. I really, really love this, and it's, again, super, super soft, so I love that. Um, the other towel I carry in here um, is my son's. He is a Toy Story fanatic. He loves Buzz and Woody. So I got this from the Disney store. They were running a sale, um, and so actually his Nana got this for him. So he was really excited about taking this um, to the beach with us. So 
a really, really lightweight, folds up or rolls up really easily into your bag. Um, and it's kind of large. I think it's really a good towel. He's pretty absorbent, I think. So, um, and he kind of feels like he has his own stuff. So I really like that. Um, other thing I carry in here is super, super big. Hold on. That's why I love big old bags. Um, is this bag. Um, this is not really a bag. This is um, more of one of those picnic blankets. I think this is really good to take to the beach um, only because it is still soft, but you can lay it out if you're not getting like one of those umbrellas for the day. Um, you can lay it out in the sand and it doesn't, um, it kind of retracts the sand so you can kind of shake it out and, you know, re-zip it up. And I would unzip it for you guys, but it's so complicated to put back in, but really, really love these um, things. And they're great for uh, picnics too, so, and then if you don't pull it out of the bag, it makes like a really nice pillow, so you can kind of take a nap if you need to, so really, really like that. It does take up a lot of the bag, so if you don't have a big bag, um, it does have a handle, so you can carry it, or you can get somebody to carry it for you, um, and it kind of packs away really nicely. So really love that. They didn't used to make these things, so it was always so difficult to kind of throw your towel on the sand. I hate doing that, so I really love that, and it dries really quickly, so if it does get wet, no big deal. It'll dry pretty um, easily. Um, the rest of the things I have in here are products that I keep um, are uh, baby wipes, I love having baby wipes in my bag uh, for, you know, kind of refreshing your face if it's a little hot, to take off any kind of makeup, um, even take off sand. It actually is pretty good on taking off sand if you're trying to eat a snack or anything like that. And these are the Fit Care, and I really like the way they smell. They smell like the pool to me, and I don't know exactly why that is, but um, I really like these, and you can get them in a bunch of packs. So I always take one with me anyway, like in my suitcase if I'm going anywhere, but I always keep one in my uh, beach bag or my pool bag because you never know. You may need it or... Um, you know, you need to wipe anything down, so, um, really like those, um, as in, uh, hair products, um, I do carry, um, you guys know I love Aveda, so I do carry, um, the Aveda Sun Care line, they do have a body wash that comes with it, but of course I don't keep that in my bag, but it does help, um, take out, it's a body wash and hair wash, and it does take off salt water and chlorine, I do have color, um, treated hair, and I do have a keratin, so I don't use it to wash my hair, I think it's a little stripping, but it's perfect for your body, I feel really nice and refreshed, but these two items, um, this is the protective hair veil, and I spray this all over my hair um, right before I get out in the sunlight at any point, even if I'm not necessarily going to the beach or the pool. Um, it is uh, It helps uh, UV filters help protect your hair. So uh, I really, really love this, and it smells like oranges, and I use this even if I'm just going out and I know I'm going to be out in the sun. Since my hair is so dark, um, it definitely attracts heat a lot more, um, and it gets super, super hot, and I'm scared. I don't want to damage my hair or anything like that. And then um, this is the After Sun um, hair mask. I love this stuff as well. I use this when I get out of the pool or when I get out of the water, if I do get in the water. Um, and even when I'm in the shower, just to kind of add a little moisture back into my hair. Um, just keep in mind, since they are Aveda products, they are natural or um, I think 99% all natural products. So they do have an expiration date. And um, if you guys do have this bag, um, you know that it has like these little inner pockets. Normally I stick the spray you know, right there, so it kind of has easy access, and I can, you know, depending on if I have two little sunblocks in there, I can kind of pop that in there, but um, I do keep my sunblock in there, it is the perfect size, um, I'm using the Neutro uh, Neutrogena Wet Skin, um, and if y'all have seen uh, commercials on this, it is true to what they say, it uh, does work when your skin is wet, I hate spraying, like, sunblock, and it kind of bubbles up, you know what I mean, and you get that white film, and you have to rub it in, it doesn't know what's rubbing, um, this definitely attracts to the skin still, even when your skin is wet, so, um, I got a deal when you got two of them, um, so I could justify spending a little extra money, plus I love Neutrogena products, they're really sensitive to my skin, so, um, and good for my son, so this has an SPF 50 in it, um, and then other products I carry, um, is my makeup bag, and yes, I'm that girl that wears makeup to the beach, I don't ever, ever do it, I justify wearing makeup by almost having SPF in it, so, uh, I am that girl, please don't judge me, um, I have to put it on, again, I justify it by having SPF in my makeup, so, I'll go through this really quickly so this video isn't too long, um, the first thing I carry is my Air Infused Foundation, um, this is Maybelline's Dream Nude Air Foam, uh, you shake it up, and it's literally like a mousse that, um, comes out, uh, it is super, super light, and this has an SPF 16 in it, so I really, really love this stuff. Um, it doesn't feel like I have anything on. It doesn't seem to melt away, so I do use that. 
Um, as in concealer, I use the MAC Studio Finish Concealer. This has an SPF of 35. This is an NC42. Um, I use this on special occasions or when I go to the beach or um, to the pool. I put it under my eyes and in the inner corners of my nose. That's where I tend to burn um, if I am going to burn. So this has the highest SPF for that. So um, I haven't found another concealer that I really, really like. This stays really, really light on. I don't feel like it gets really cakey by any means. So I really like that. Um, I don't always wear this, but if I am going out, this is my Revlon's Photo Ready Powder. This does have an SPF um, as well, an SPF 14. So I do carry this with me because you never know if I'm going to go out or anything like that. And if I do decide I'm putting any on, it's super lightweight, so I don't feel like I have a lot of makeup on. Um, I also carry my Maybelline's Dream Bouncy Blush, and this is in Plum Wine. Yeah, Plum Wine. And again, this is super light, so I always carry this with me. I don't feel like I have a lot of makeup on. It gives me a little um, kind of flush color. So I really like that. Um, I use Revlon's Customized uh, Waterproof Mascara. Um, and then I use Elf's Waterproof Eyeliner Pen. And yes, they are really waterproof, so they work really well. Um, and then as in Lip Balms, this is... Uh, by Pink, the Jewelry Seeker Pink, this is their Mega Pink uh, Balm, and this has an SPF of 15. And I think this is in Pink Lemonade. I took the sticker off, so I don't really know, but I think it's, an, I think it's Pink Lemonade. But it's really, really yummy, and it smells super good, and I really love it, and it's a big lip balm, so I'm not going to miss anything when I use the sucker. And then I always bring the Coraz Wild Rose, um, just because I love it. I don't think it has an SPF in it or anything like that, but it gives you a little flesh of color again. So I really like that. I think it's like perfect if you're going to the beach or something, and it's really light. It doesn't feel like you have anything on your lips, um, and I really like that. So, uh, And then the last two things I carry in this bag um, are um, a perfume. This is Coco Mademoiselle, just in case I go out, and I love uh, this stuff. I really, really love this stuff. This is my all-time favorite scent. I love Coco Mademoiselle. I just think of myself when I wear it. It is my all-time um, kind of go-to scent. And then, of course, my cell phone. I do keep it in this bag um, to help protect it from the heat and from other elements and uh, because, of course, heat is terrible for fun. So um, I do have that. And uh, this bag, I forgot to really tell you about it, but I got this free um, when I went to Bath and Body Works. And it has a little actual tower on it. And I think I got it when I purchased Charm Life. It was like a free gift with purchase. As you can tell, I'm a sucker for free gifts and purchases. So, um, love that. That was really cute, and it matches my bag. And it's just the right size to kind of carry everything, and I don't overstuff it or anything like that. So, love that. The last things I carry with me, of course, are snacks. you got to have snacks when you go to the port, to the beach, because you know how exhausting you, uh, it is when you go out to the beach and you get so hungry. So um, I do carry some small items. Um, these are Lunchable Snack Duos. Uh, they are just really small mini versions of Lunchable, so they come with, like, the meat, with, in this case, ham, cheddar, and mini Ritz. So I love those because they're kind of substantial, but they're not too heavy just in case. So I carry that. Um, I always carry something sweet. So these are uh, Teddy Grahams and chocolate. I love Teddy Grahams. They're so good. Um, and then I carry uh, some pretzels. I think pretzels are really filling. Um, so in this case, these are the Snyder's Nibblers. These are in honey, mustard, and onion. Super, super yummy. Love these. I can eat them. Uh, right now, they're super good. And then um, the last thing I carry is always water. And um, I always carry a koozie with me. Of course, I always want to keep my water cold, so I have a koozie. But you never know, I may have something else to drink. So I always want to keep a koozie with me to make sure that it's cold. And I love this. Um, and it's very thick and it's leopard print. I love it. I love anything leopard print. So I think it's super, super cute. So um, that is it, you guys. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, as usual, please subscribe and comment down below. And then, uh, if you don't know, you can find me on Instagram. I always um, post things on Instagram. And you can also find me on Twitter under the name Lucky Ecky, L-U-C-K-I-E-E-C-K-E. -E -E. So definitely find me on there and um, follow. I always post pictures, outfits of the days, things like that. So um, definitely do that. I'd love for you guys to kind of comment on those as well. I'm trying to gain some subscribers on that as well. Thank you guys so much for watching. I really do appreciate it. And I love you guys so much. And I will talk to you guys soon.